Hey everyone, how are you? In this video, I will explain you how can you create an AI powered program or an application using Gemini and Python. Gemini is Google's family of LLMs. LLMs means large language models and there is something called as multi models. Basically, the LLMs are AI that can understand and generate text, images, audio, video, code, a lot of things it can understand and it can generate as well, right? And when we say multi models, it means your model or your AI can actually understand multiple type of data. It can understand text and images both. It can take text and image as an input and it can produce multiple type of output. It can produce output as an audio or a video or text plus image both, right? So that's called multi models. And all of these models, all of these LLMs of Google is under Gemini. You will have Gemini models like Gemini Flash 2.5, Gemini Pro, a lot of different models are there, which is fine. We don't need to explore all the models for now. In this video, basically, we are going to understand how to create a simple workflow where you can provide a simple input, an input prompt or an input question and make an API request using Python's library for Google Gemini. So we are going to install a Python library, which is specifically for Google's Gemini and it is created by Google itself. And then finally, we are going to display the AI response. What we need is Python installed. Well, the version can be 3.9, 3.10 as well, but let's use the latest version. And I have already explained how to install the latest version of Python and the installation link is in the description. You need a Google account, of course, if you want to use the Gemini product, the Gemini LLM, then you need a Google account because Gemini is of Google and you need a Gemini API key. So if you have a Google account, you can get this API key free of cost. We are also going to install the Google Gen AI library, which I told you about, right? We are going to make use of this library to make API calls. Now, first of all, we need Python, right? Have it installed. Now we need a Google account, have a Google account. And now let us see how can we get the Gemini API key. So let's go to a browser and in the browser search for Google AI Studio. You will get this result. And in this result, just click on this Google AI Studio and it will direct you to this particular page, which is aistudio.google.com. Here you will see in the left hand side, there is a get API key section. Of course, you should be logged in if you are not logged into this aistudio.google.com then you will need to log in using your gmail account or the google account and then you can see the option of get api key click on the get api key i have already created an api key but let me create one more just to show you how do you create the api key so you will have this option create api key click on this name your api key anything let us say name it as testing okay we are using it for testing or let, let's name it as learning now you need to choose a cloud project if you do not have a cloud project i have it it is gemini ai agent learning but if you do not have it, you will not see this option. You will see the option of import a project or create a project. Let's create a project and name the project as learning AI and click on create project. And then you will have to just click on create key. So this is your key name. This is your project name, learning AI. And now create the key. Wait for some time. It is going to create the key. And now your key is created. You can see the project is learning AI and this is your key. You just need to copy this key. Let's copy this API key and keep it in a file. So let's create a file and before we create a file, I would recommend you to use VS code for all these learnings or some coding editor with which you are familiar with. I'm using VS code. So it will be good if you use VS code as well, create a project or a folder. I have created a folder Gemini vid in this. I'm going to store all our code and all our files. This notes what you see on the screen is also stored in this folder. Let me create a new file and name it as API key. Hit enter. And in this, let me paste my API key. Of course, this is the API key, which you do not want to share with anyone. So after creating this video, I'm going to delete this API key, but you can have your own, right? So the next part is installing the Google Gen AI library, which is used to make API requests to the Gemini models using Python. To install this Google Gen AI, we can make use of pip, which is the Python package installer. So the command is pip install hyphen Q hyphen U. You can skip this hyphen Q hyphen U. This hyphen Q means do it quietly, do the installation quietly. Don't print a lot of logs and hyphen U means if Google Gen AI is already installed, then update it if it is not updated to the latest version. So just go to our terminal and type the command pip install. And before I actually type the command, let me show you the version of Python I have Python hyphen hyphen version. And you can see the Python version I have is Python 3.14. Now let me clear the console and type the command pip install hyphen Q hyphen U Google dash Gen AI. Hit enter, wait for some time. It is going to install this Google Gen AI. For me, it is done very quickly because for me, it is already installed, right? And you won't see a lot of logs because I have done the installation in quiet mode. 
All right, once this is done, now we are ready for our basic workflow where we are going to create a basic AI powered application or an AI powered program which is going to accept a prompt and display the AI response. Now for this, I'll just go to my folder Gemini vid. In this, I'll just create a file. Let me create the file as basic.py. Hit enter. Now, the first thing which you want to do is you will have to say from Google import Gen AI. Now this import is coming from the Google Gen AI library. Okay. So you should have it installed. Now, once you have imported the Gen AI module, you can just say client. Let's create a client which is going to make a request to the Google Gemini API. So we can say client is equal to Gen AI dot client. Now let's take a prompt from the user. So let's say prompt is equal to input. And in this we can say enter your prompt. Okay. All right. Once the prompt is entered, we can say response. Let's create a response. So for creating a response, we actually have to make a request to the Google Gemini API, right? We need to make API request using the Python library for Google Gemini. So we took a prompt. Now let's make an API request. So we can simply say client. We are going to make use of this client we created dot models. It is going to access the models and we can say dot generate underscore content. So this is the method which is in the client dot models. And in this method, we need to pass some arguments. The first argument we need to pass is what model do you want to use? So basically this Google Gemini provides a lot of different models, right? If I just tell you some model names, it is Gemini 2.5 Pro, Gemini 2.5 Flash, Gemini 2.5 Flash Lite, 2.0 Flash, 2.0 Flash Lite, right? So we are going to use a model and that model name is actually Google, not Google, Gemini dash 2.5. We are going to use the 2.5 Flash, so dash Flash, comma. One more argument is what is the prompt? So I can say contents is equal to prompt prompt which is being entered by the user. So basically right now what's happening is we are using this client to make a request to the Gemini API and it is going to generate some content using the model Gemini 2.5 flash and using this content whatever content you have provided based on this it will give you some response. So now I want to print the response so I can say print the response is and let me just write it in a pretty fancy way. So I can say dash one more dash and I can say print response dot text using this dot text we can get the response which the AI has generated now we are good right but you might have a question that hey we have not used this API key anywhere right as of now if I just run the code let me actually run the code so in the terminal I can say python space basic dot py hit enter wait for some time you will get the response as missing key inputs argument to so use the google AI API provide the API key of course we need the API key right so let me clear the console and let me tell you how to do this or how to provide the API key in two different ways. First of all is you need to specify a environment variable and the environment variable name is actually Gemini underscore API underscore key. So we need to add our API key as an environment variable and the environment variable name is Gemini API key. So in Windows, if I want to set an environment variable with the name Gemini API key, I can just make use of environment variable settings. I can go to search bar, type environment variables. You can see this in edit the system environment variables section and in this click on this environment variables go to the user section user variable for whatever username you have in this let us create a new environment variable the key name is going to be Gemini API key and the value is going to be the API key what we have so let me write the value here paste it and okay and okay this should be good now and now I need to just restart my VS code so that my VS code recognizes the newly created environment variable so I can just say rest so let me just close the VS code and then I need to open it again so I can say virtual studio code it is open now now using the terminal I can just run my code I can say python basic dot py hit enter and now you will see it will ask us enter your prompt there is no error now because now this client which we have created here this client will just automatically try to access an environment variable with the name of Gemini API key if it finds the variable then it will use that particular API key and now it will proceed ahead to run the next line of code which is input enter your prompt what we see here let's enter a prompt let us say what is ai tell me in 50 or not 50 let's say 20 words hit enter wait for some time and you will see a response and i will show you what that response means and how that response got generated the output we see right now is the response is this is what we printed along with two lines and the actual response is ai Systems mimicking human intelligence, they learn, reason, and solve problems autonomously, making decisions and performing tasks intelligently. And you will see that this is within 20 words, just what we have written here. What is an AI? Tell me in 20 words, and you have got the response. 
and i know this is a very simple application bit but this is going to set you up to learn about ai more and create ai powered application using any family of model for now we are just using the gemini ai models but the concept of creating ai application is going to be same using either open ai models gemini models or any other model you take the concept is going to be same for now we have just written a very simple code what's happening is we are having a prompt this prompt is being saved in this prompt variable right now we are having a client which has our api key dot models dot generate content it is going to generate the content using the gemini 2.5 flash model and the content which is which it is going to use to actually think that what kind of output we i need to generate is the prompt and then we are just saying response dot text whatever the response is coming from the ai we are just giving the response here right so i think it looks good right now there is one more way to give your api key and this is really good for testing and learning right instead of setting up any kind of environment variable which can be a little bit tedious task for windows or linux or mac os the common way to do is the common way for all the operating system if you are just learning it is you need to pass the api key directly here in the genai.client so here what you can do is you can say api underscore key is equal to whatever is your key whatever your key is you just pass it here so if i just go to my environment variables again go to environment variables and delete this gemini api key if i just delete this click on ok click on ok and let's restart this vs code again if i say code let's start this vs code again and for now i have not given the api key but just for explaining you if i just run the code right now python space basic dot py you will see that it is giving us an error that to use the google ai provide the api key right we have provided this api key but the value is empty the value is incorrect if i just provide it some random value abc then also i am expecting an error let's see what happens if i'm running the code okay i'm not getting an error with an empty data i was getting an error with some random data i'm not getting an error but let's say what is ai i give it a prompt hit enter then it will definitely say that the api key is invalid right so now we can use just the valid api key pass it here right and let me clear the console run the code again and let us say what is ai let's wait for the response i think i will be i think we are going to get a big response right now because i have not limited the response in the prompt itself so that is why you can see it's taking some time to generate the response so ideally i would expect you guys to just write a prompt which is going to generate a smaller output because right now you see this generated a really big output right so try to write a prompt which actually generates a small output to make sure that if you are just learning this then you are able to learn it fast instead of waiting a lot for the response from the ai so guys i think that's it for this video in this video i have explained you everything which you need to get started with creating ai powered application with gemini models now we have just got started touching the ai thing right what we have done as of now is nothing compared to what ai can do but going forward i am going to upload a lot of videos where i will be explaining how to create powerful ai application but first of all we are going to learn a lot of different concepts which you should know when creating ai powered application specifically we are going to use the gemini models because i just find that it is free and easy to use easy to set up but the concepts are going to be same so again guys that's it for this video if this video has helped you to understand something then make sure that you hit that like button and if you are not subscribed to my channel as of now then make sure that you subscribe to the channel as well and i will see you guys in the next video i want to see you guys in the next video thank you for watching this one